At the University of British Columbia, we have about 3,000 students from China who are registered students at UBC. We send less than 125 students to China a year for co-ops, year abroad programs all combined. So the enormous challenge is how we, we not just attract Asians here, important for business, but how we get Canadians placed into thinking circles, new idea development circles in China and other parts of Asia. Um, the, um, the, the first thing we do is that we um, make Asia part of their, of their normal lives and of their business lives. It's, it's going to be a challenge because many of our smartest students say, why spend time in Asia when it's not going to benefit my career? And business people are going to have to, business leaders are going to have to start changing their corporate cultures to take advantage of that expertise in, the, um, in their business structures and the incentives for young people in their careers. Uh, I have a 24-year-old son who graduated from the University of, uh, in, in Western Canada. When he finished, uh, he was looking for what he was going to do next. He went to China. He looked around and he said, this is interesting. It's exciting, it's dynamic, it's good, it's bad, it's ugly, but it's a place I have to be. And I think increasing numbers of our students know that, but they're trying to find ways to get in in a way that is safe as an entry point, but exciting to what they want to achieve. So business and universities have to make those opportunities possible.